20 goals in 1v1. He's he's just a garbage ones player. Like I remember I 1v1 Yemen a while back and I nearly beat him. He's just awful. If somebody can guess the password to this lobby, that's impressive though. But nah, Scrub just invited him because he's bored. And stream delay. But this is Kaelin from Valencia. That's He's teamed up with Kael Thanks and DeBoer. And Kaelin's definitely a top level ones player. No doubt about it. Showing off his... Is that the Sparkles boost trail? What a wannabe alpha boost. <laughs> what a wannabe alpha boost. Yemen beat Marky. How on earth did Yemen beat Marky? But anyway, we'll see how good uh, how good Kalen can do. I think that Kalen has has he ever beaten? I'm almost certain that Kalen's beaten Scrub before. They, these guys have probably matched up a lot in the past. Uh, Kalen's a very quick player. The main criticism I had when I worked with him was that he used too much boost, but that was like that's not such a problem when you do one v ones because there's way more boost on the pitch. Like there's no additional boost pads in threes or twos. They don't respawn faster, uh, so the boost pads respawning just at the exact same rate in ones means that you can be super super careless with them. And that's why we see one v one players often when they make the transition over to threes or twos even, have a difficulty uh, not using all the boosts on the pitch. Scrub Killer with his classic kickoff, though he's goal side. Kalen is not. Clearly Kalen has not been watching my videos about Scrub Killer's kickoff, or he would know better than to let Scrub do this to him. Why does he have Scrub looking for big wheels in his name? That should be pretty self-explanatory, my friend. Nice pop by Kalen. Is he going to actually get to the mid boost, though? That's the question. Scrub could have maybe beaten him to it, but he decided to go for the ball instead. Which is not wrong. Scrub looking to extend his win streak. Uh, I think after losing the first, his very first game of the day to Devo, Scrub is on a six game winning streak. Two games against Devo, two games against Jesse, two games against. Uh, who did we have on last? I've forgotten. Mistake. That reminds me, I need to change my title. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. Kalen actually, uh, on a full Spanish team, he is Spanish himself, and he's been picked up by uh, Valencia, the football team, have actually picked up a Rocket League team, which is pretty awesome. If you go and look at those guys' Twitters, you can see they're marching about the stadium in their uh, Rocket League jerseys. So that's pretty funny. The Scrub is taking absolutely no prisoners today. I think this is all just an elaborate ruse. Scrub is gonna like beat as many people as possible, then lose to Yemen, and it's actually like Yemen's paid Scrub to throw just to try and validate himself. That's the story that I would be uh, writing if I was trying to script this. Bit of a weird kickoff there because Kalen actually didn't manage to uh, get the hit that he wanted. Well, he, I mean, Kalen actually got pushed away from the ball by Scrub because. They like both hit it at the almost exact same moment. But it works in Kalen's favor because the ball went to his side. But we'll have to wait and see if he can get any more goals besides a kickoff goal. You definitely need to have more on the on the plate than kickoff goals. Well, at least usually. I have seen a few 1v1 games be won purely based on kickoffs. So look oh scrub of the miss of the century! What? How did he miss this? That is tilting. That's gotta be extremely tilting. He's getting some legit boost starving though. Pretty legitimate boost starving coming out of Scrub. Kalen forced into a challenge that he might not have wanted to do. And that's surely a goal for Scrub. He might have misfired again though. Barely misfires, but he nabs the boost. Very nicely done by Scrub. Kalen was expecting Scrub to go up immediately, so he went for the boost, but then Scrub just stole it. Uh, so Scrub was indeed paid off by Yemen to beat as many people and uh, just throw. Like I, I bet Scrub's acting would kind of give it away. He's not the best at keeping secrets, is Scrub Killer. I remember I can tell I can tell this now because uh, it's happened. But oh, Caleb, maybe with the own goal, nice recovery though. But when I was 
talking to Scrub about the LAN, about the RLCS LAN, uh, it was pretty funny because <laughs> Scrub, he knew that he was going to the RLCS LAN with his dad, and uh, he wanted to keep it a secret, and he told me, or I asked him, hey, can you scrim against Genesis, because I was looking for people to scrim against Genesis, uh, the NA team, because they were looking for some practice. Uh, and then... I, I just remember Scrub wrote to me, he said in three consecutive lines, oh no, like, first of all he said, yeah, I can play, but I'm super distracted, and then in three consecutive lines after that, after I'd asked him, yo, why are you distracted, or why are you distracted, are you, like, going to the LAN as a mascot or something? By the way, what on earth is happening to Scrub? That fail. What a goal. Calculated. But yeah, I asked Scrub, are you going to the LAN as a mascot? And he, in three consecutive lines on Steam, just said, uh, no... Who told you crap? <laughs> I was like, what? How, how did he manage to like tell me this so quickly? Like, I, I didn't even have to weed it out of him or anything. He just like pretty much told me. That was a beautiful fake by Kaelin, by the way, for that third goal. Uh, Scrub was expecting a fast kickoff goal, but Kaelin just said, nope, I'm just going to fake this one. Still half the goals to the good, though. Scrub with half a dozen, Kaelin with half of that again. Yeah, Scrub's, Scrub is horrendous at keeping secrets. Absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Oh, that's a really nice finish. Scrub with the boost starve, and then he just runs a ring around Kaelin. The scrub is looking to extend his win streak to seven. Of course, the fourth player now that he's dispatching. He really has found his feet today. And I mean, these are top level 1v1 players that he's putting away with. These aren't just like, you know, a bunch of no names. He's, you know, beaten Devo uh, and Jesse Mistake, and now he's beaten Kaelin as well. These guys are all legitimately high level 1s players. Still not over yet. Maybe, you know, it's too soon to be calling it. That was a really nice challenge. I, the only thing I would criticize there is Caitlyn didn't look behind him to check how far away Scrub was. So that was definitely something that he could have done better. Is he could have, you know, checked back with his camera in the reverse feature, or you know, swivel it around and just check really quickly where Scrub is. Then he would know if he has more time. It's a good challenge by Caitlyn. Notice every time Caitlyn's going for these challenges, he just places his car on the opposite side of the ball from Scrub which is why he's kind of getting all these connections on the ball, forcing it through his opponent. And that also like means that your opponent can't fake you. If you challenge from the opposite side of the ball from your opponent, then they can't really fake you. This is running out of time for Caelan. What a shot by Scrub! How does he do this so consistently? It's unbelievable. Just like every time that the ball's in open field, he just rips a shot straight into the goal. With no hesitation. Very well done by Scrub, doubling Kalen's goal tally yet again. And this is game is now all but over. Game 1, firmly in favour of Scrub. Firmly in favour of Scrub. And again, this open field shot, like not much to be said. Kalen getting rinsed in game one. Not a bad performance by him. He did have 10 shots, but Scrub was able to get 13 and also get more saves. You know, shots, saves, goals in 1v1. Very, very indicative of who played better, especially, well, obviously, goals is, like, to the surprise of no one. But good game. Scrub killer taking game one against uh, our Spanish friend here. Both of these guys, actually, Kaelin and Scrub, were some of the first, you know, high-level players who came and hung out in my uh, Twitch, like, way back when I used to have pretty much no viewers. But game two, I really want to see, you know, somebody take it as Scrub Killer here. Scrub Killer, this time with the default camera glitch. So let's throw it on the... Ah, uh, now we get to see why Kaelin's running the taxi 
hat. Looking good. Taxi hat car, definitely looking good with the yellow octane. <laughs> Kaylin is practicing his acrobatics really quickly. He definitely lost control of his car a little bit there. Oh, that's actually going to squeak in. Wow, Scrub did not think that was going in. That's actually such a good finish by Kaylin. Well done. He could have got it in like without uh, the double post hit, but regardless, a goal is a goal. And Kaylin pretty side onto the ball. We all know what that means. One all. Right after you've worked really hard for a goal, just like kickoff goal. That's like honestly one of the most frustrating things in ones is not just a kickoff goal, but you know when you like work for a long time to break down your opponent's attack. You spend ages, or uh, you break down your opponent's defense. You spend ages trying to, uh, you know, chip away at them, boost, starve, make force misplays, and then they just score a kickoff goal. You're like, oh come on! <laughs> I worked so hard for this goal, and then you just get that. But as frustrating as it is, it's perfectly fair and calculated. That's a really good turn and challenge by Scrub. Fast recovery as well. Like it's the little things that really separate these top level players from the players who are looking to get up into that level. Just recovering fast on your wheels. You know, power sliding accurately, going quickly into challenges with, uh, you know, no hesitation. Oh, scrub a little bit of a celebration. But Kalen does get back. I should have definitely put on a Kalen camera. Apologies for that because we missed a you know pretty good save right there. Some nice control. This is a low boost situation. Kalen, he's doing well to pick up pads on his way to the ball. And that burst of aggression actually coming out because Kalen knows that he has the boost advantage. Failing to flip through the ball though, not, not as much power on that shot as he was hoping for. Well, Scrub going for a bump actually gets bumped twice. No way, he's not going to get a goal, is he? Pretty creative air rolling, but it's an impossible angle after all. And Scrub is just like so BM with his challenges. It's unreal. He just turns so casually. The timing, like, just to do that, to turn so quickly and beat your opponent to the ball when your opponent is facing the ball the entire time. You know, we can call that a misplay from Kaylin, but at the same time, the balls for Scrub to do that, to make that play. Like, massive balls on this 13 uh, year old Scottish child. And now Kaelin, it seems like Scrub's got an aura of invincibility about him today. Everybody's just misfiring their shots against him. And Scrub Killer, not misfiring at all. Absolutely ruining everybody that comes in his way right now. <laughs> Pedo Bear. That's uh, definitely one of the most underused Twitch emotes, is Pedo Bear. I'm surprised that. Baby Rage and Pedo Bear should be like the only things that people ever say in Scrub Killer's chat. I mean, the kid might get a webcam now that everybody knows what he looks like from the RLCS LAN. Uh, I'm sure he'd get way more viewers with a face cam as well. That would be pretty funny. You could become like such a massive streamer on Twitch, a Scrub Killer kid. Like, actually, just a variety streamer. Because he's, you know, he's, he's 13. It's hilarious. It's, th it's Scrub Killer. <laughs> yeah, it's just so weird when you think about it. It's become normal now. We're also used to Scrub Killer being around and being so good, but we forget. Like, he's just a 13 year old kid who's insanely good at video games. Oh, Caitlyn getting one back. He likes to be. He likes to keep it within half. Like, whenever Scrub has one goal, Caitlyn or whenever Caitlyn has one goal, Scrub has two. Scrub has four. Caitlyn says, "All right, time for me to score my second goal. Keep it at uh, halfway." He's just got the change of Scrub's uh, goals. This should really be a goal. Not enough power though. Kaelin getting a bit of a wheel hit. He is going to completely boost starve this half of the pitch though. Oh, again, this is like... I feel like a broken record, but people are make, trying to make plays before Scrub is actually committed to a challenge. Like right here, just a misread on what Scrub's planning to do. Scrub, again, just one level up on the mind games. Waits for Kaelin to make the hit, and then he just goes for his own outplay. This uh, should be another goal. Kaelin just not able to convert. And actually the fact that Kaelin is not rushing back there 
bit risky because if Scrub just stops this ball and then Kaelin's chilling over here, Scrub can like tick down a large portion of the clock and Kaelin really needs this two minutes to get back in the game. And he really needs to get some possession off kickoffs because Scrub is really getting the vast majority of the uh, ball control immediately after kickoff, as we're, as we're seeing right now. And Scrub Killer got that boost, I'm almost certain. Kaelin with the aggression. I do like that he's being aggressive. You know, he's more likely to lose a counter attack goal, but when you're already down by four, that doesn't really matter as much. Down by four. And only this much time left. Nice control. Air rolling to keep that ball on target is Kaelin. It's a good recovery right here. That pop making that goal possible. Let's see if he can get this on target. I think Scrub just used Google Translate to try and insult Kaelin's teammate De Boer and it didn't work because Kaelin is like, Buh? What? Near post shot from Kaelin. He's not necessarily expecting that to go in, but he does expect to maintain boost control and possession. Whiffing the ball. Gives Scrub the chance to get the counter though, and Scrub says thank you very much. I'll have my four goal lead back if you don't mind. And counters Kalen's question mark with a question mark of his own. Definitely a solid play by Scrub. Yeah, Kalen with it all to do, but he's been given another opportunity. Wait, where does Scrub just flying out the ceiling somehow? <laughs> recovering in time to get this ball back under his control. It looks like he's just proving to be too much for Kalen right now. Who, I'm not sure if he's, uh, you know, if he feels like he's been playing well, or if uh, he feels like this is one of his worst days. I know this is actually the first time that Kalen's been on my stream in recent times 1v1ing. He actually, way back, did some ones, like, a long time ago. Oh my! I forgot that was a thing. This hasn't been happening today. Lacy Cyber Dude. Thanks for the sub, dude. I appreciate it, man. That... Like, see if I'm ever playing a harder game, I'm actually going to die when somebody subscribes. I should probably do that. That would be good viewing, actually. That would be really funny. Not going to lie. That would be pretty top banter. Kaelin really needs to go. He's just going to go all out balls to the wall right here. Not the greatest first touch. That's a pretty good 50-50, though. He needs to get the goal right now with this finish. There it is. Right. Two goals, 12 seconds. Possible? Not likely. But you never know. Could be done. I think like a delayed kickoff or something here is probably the best strategy. Just like ar arrive late at the ball. Because Scrub's kickoff is just so solid that you're probably not getting a kickoff goal in the conventional method. Uh, you're you know, more likely to get it with some shenanigans, I feel. And that's exactly the kind of thing that you need. If you're two goals down with 12 seconds left, shenanigans, that's, that's what you need. You just need to play something a little bit uh, fancy. Because that way your opponent might be like, oh my goodness, you're actually you're actually gonna make this impossible comeback. That's nuts. And uh, he might start to get tilted. 